My entree to, to openness was, like a lot of people, I think, questions of net neutrality and non-discriminatory access. Uh, but it is quite a bit broader than that. I mean, I, I think of things uh, like open standards that allow people to develop new tools, new innovations that connect and communicate like the existing ones on the internet. I think of, um, in general, I think of it as, as, as low barriers to entry. You know, once you connect, you're on a relatively level playing field with, with other speakers, other companies, other, other people connected to the network. Um, and in terms of, of threats, um, I, I think threats arise when there are points in the network or players in the network that can, uh, can, can affect that, that openness and, that, and sort of tip the balance that uh, we've seen. Um, in terms of SOPA and PIPA and, and, and the process questions, um, I can't say that it's fixed. I think that, I think that it, was, it was certainly a turning point and we turned you know, the reaction and, and the ability of, of the, the protests that we saw to stop the legislation in its tracks, I think turned a lot of heads. Um, but it's, 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 an, it's an ongoing conversation. Um, I think one of the biggest lessons to come out of it is to echo, to echo John's point, is, is about the process. Um, the, the internet touches everyone and everything. And as we face very real challenges um, from child protection or intellectual property protection or cybersecurity, it's important to sort of develop multi-stakeholder consensus on what the core principles are. You know, what is it that, that keeps barriers to entry low, that allows the internet to become the remarkable platform that it is? Um, what are those principles and then what steps can we take to address very real challenges without compromising those principles? And I think the, the reaction we saw in particular to SOAP and PIPA was that there were steps taken, there were steps proposed, um, and until the very last minute, arguments against those steps were, were largely ignored. Um, steps proposed that would have compromised those principles. Um, and so I think it, it's, it's about learning the lessons from that fight to keep the process more open and open to more, to, to more voices.